might have to take a little short break back there. Me and B are going to ride down the 128 path. See what's going on through here. Probably go up here to the ride to the cow shed. Look around there. And as you may remember uh, from one of my earlier videos uh, when I was riding the uh, rancher through here, um, I, you may remember me saying that uh, that the uh, this all used to be cow pasture a long time ago. And uh, so if you notice, you know it's kind of lands relatively flat out here. And, um, Naturally, I mean, it's grown up. That's been a very long time ago because all these trees have got some age on them. Um, but anyway, uh, just a little, little information in case you already don't know. This path, uh, not not to the cow shed, but this path from end to end, in other words, you come off the railroad there and ride this, it will put you out up on the top of a rocky hill. And that's about, this path from end to end is about two miles. I've measured it out on a digital uh, trip meter. So that should be pretty accurate, but um, it's right at two miles in length. The old creek path uh, from the um, time you cross the creek the first time all the way to the you set foot on the railroad is right at two miles as well. Kind of hard to believe, but you know, you kind of when you're on horseback, you kind of realize it because um, the first time I ever traveled either one of these paths, this path or the old creek path, that uh, took a long time. Uh, on horseback to get from end to end, I thought, you know, that it just, you know they weren't never going to end. And I didn't really know where they went either at that time. So. This uh, this path right here, the 128 path, I call it. Uh, other people may have a different name for it, but that's what I know it is. Uh, it's always pretty uh, pretty smooth though. It was a wildfire happened on the left hand side here about I guess it's been about two years ago now um, you can kind of see some of the pines have a sooty uh, smoke stain where they were burnt at the bottom and the uh, forest service had to come out here with the bulldozers and cut fire lanes around stuff like that try and contain it they they got it stopped. It almost jumped the railroad track and went to the other side, but thankfully they got out here in time and were able to stop it. And, uh, all uh, over to the left there, past this set of pines, is a little cutover that was replanted in young pine uh, trees, probably about that big around. And uh, all of those burnt and killed all of those. So that, all that got lost, but that was one of the fire lanes I was talking about there. You probably can't really tell it now, but where they took that bulldozer through there and dug out, trying to keep it from spreading. Swamp. 
show everybody be the water hole over here, okay? Take us over there, baby girl. Take us over there. Right up to the edge here, girl. It's alright, you don't have to go no far. Just stop. That was a little water hole there. I don't know if you can see. There's not much water in it right now, but uh, it was dug. Ooh, baby. Uh, was dug for the cows to drink out of. Like I said, when this used to be cow pasture here, just a little thing. This is about the least amount of water I've ever seen in it. But, uh, all right, girl. Thank you. Thank you, baby girl. Okay, so this way. Just one of the little attractions off the path here. I think I'd ever shown y'all that. I've been meaning to ride up to it so you get a better view of it, but that's really the first time I've been that close to it, to be honest with you. Never know what you're going to find out in the woods, you know. Old cars, ponds have grown up around, and all sorts of junk, you know, the tires. But he knows about that stuff. He's seen a lot of things here on the trail rides. Ain't you? A lot of holly trees out here too in this area. Perfect for Christmas time. never noticed it out here not, uh, not any not yet anyway I haven't noticed but um, some of the uh, other places uh, land that I've ridden in years past that uh, used to be cow farms you know and stuff like that or old farms around every once in a while you know you might be out in the woods and you find an old cow bone or something laying around or I don't know I guess the cow you know I mean, it'd be laying on top of the ground, you know, it wouldn't be buried, so I don't know if the cow just, they left it where it died at, or, or what you say about that, but, uh, like I said, you know, you'd be surprised sometimes what you find.
try to come up behind the cow shed here. Cow shed was you know, an area where they would feed the cows at. It was basically like a run-in shelter. And, you know, they'd, I guess, pour the feed and stuff, and then the cows would naturally just come up, you know, and come under there to eat. And that pretty much it, I mean, the best of my knowledge. And I guess they stored hay and stuff like that in there to keep it dry. But, uh, you know, other than that, you know, uh, cows pretty much dwell outside uh, for the most part. Uh, they come inside to eat, something like that, but uh, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look over here, baby. Look at little cow shed here. I've had to wait out many thunderstorms or rainstorms under this thing. Get back here and be riding and have to. Uh, ooh, hold up, sweetheart. He's inside. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, baby girl. Just to give you a brief look inside there. I'm gonna stop and take a break, baby. Ooh, hold up. Hold on, baby.